Hi, I'm Alex Coombs, and uh, welcome to the first of many to come uh, vlogs by Credentials Manager. You can find us on Facebook, and I'll put the citation in the link for you guys to check out. I'd love if you can like and subscribe, and just generally comment on our page, because, hey, that's what we're really for. We're just here for discussing topics, and if you want to suggest another topic, please put it in the video, because eventually we're going to run out of ideas. So today, as my first one, I'm going to talk to something actually really special and dear to my heart. That is to say, something that has really pissed me off in my years of existing. And that's current affairs. God damn it, the best epitome of good storytelling. But that's the thing, the problem is, people don't realise it's storytelling. Story, as in fucking fiction. But there are these people who tend to believe that the stuff they put on that show is reality. Now, I think the thing that jumped this out to me in the last week was what is going on with uh, Mr. Tristan Barker. And if you haven't heard of him, please check him out. He's a great man doing great things. And that's what really jumped to me to say, hey, maybe I should do an update on um, current affairs. So I think the first thing to talk, being who we are, is to talk about credibility, being credentials manager at all. Now... One of the things I came across in my studies, actually when I was younger in high school, was something called the uh, Australian Journalistic Code, or the AJA Code. And, but I've, I don't think I've ever seen it upheld with any of the current affairs shows. Now, there's some things in this, co uh, in this code, such as, you know, fair representation of individuals, and don't be biased, and use fair means to uh, obtain data and information, and don't and don't use it for personal gain, and blah de blah de blah de blah But the point is, these things are barely ever followed. It just takes a moment to feed some thought and look at some of the big stories that concerned journalism, quote-unquote. And I think one that could really start off some good journalism would be the uh, Tracy Grimshaw and uh, Gordon Ramsay battle royale. Now, if you haven't heard of this, it happened about three years ago, and what was going on was there was this interview between Gordon Ramsay and Tracy Grimshaw. Now, the initial interview was just sort of like, how are you doing in your life? Oh, yeah, this is really concerning towards the progress of humanity. Hey, have you heard about the space program? No, nah, there's no space program in Australia because that doesn't matter because at least we got fucking current affairs because you know what? That's important. I'm digressing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But... Um, they talked about basically their life and stuff like that, and this was during that all that shit with Gordon Ramsay and his wife. You can go and look that up yourself. I really don't give a fucking shit. Um, and anyway, he was joking around a bit, and he made fun of a mole on her face and stuff like that. Bloody bloody blah. She thought it was all in good fun. Went on, report was aired, and everything was okay. But then there was this cooking show that he did. It was like a live stage show. And apparently he started taking the mickey out of her, just, you know, general insults, called her a lesbian, called her an ugly cow, blah 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 I don't see how being called a lesbian is an insult, that's pretty cool by my account. Essentially, she turned around and she's like, hey, hey, I'm gonna say that about me. I am an integral member of society. I mean a lot to the progress of humanity. I'm a sexy bitch. No, I think. And that's the thing, she was like, oh, you, you can't say that, that's mean. That's mean. And then she started using her journalistic integrity, integrity, this is a quote, to attack him back. And now, I admit the fact that this is probably a hype story, that she probably didn't even care. Actually, she probably did, because she is fucking stupid. And it's just like, hey, you're stupid, Tracy. Oh, oh, I don't know. Oh, no, no, tell my mommy. Anyway. And yes, she basically used this story to generate some sort of overhyped zealousness to this story. It's horrible. And going further on, this this would convince a lot of stupid people that there's something bad that you should care about this. And there's a lot of failures, blah, 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 blah. And this turned out as a report. I really don't like it when these sort of things happen, because it's almost asking us to care about something that we really don't need to know about. The big fact is, it, she really went to town on a set of rules that are designed for credibility, turning them into ideologies to exploit in order to create her own personal dear sweet or dear sweet Mr. Ramsey. Uh, to exemplify, at the end of her confession video, which I'll also put in the uh, citations down the bottom just for you guys to 
look for yourself. She has a little go at um, Ramsey about how attracted she is to him and how she simply uh, hopes that he will stick it in her at some stage. Probably will, considering like, the relationship that he has with his wife. Now, I'm no expert on the AJA code, but I'm pretty sure that Statute 11 says that you can't use your media present for personal gain. And all in all, this is one of those save the cat moments where uh, little Grimmy is trying to establish herself as the good guy. But seriously, seriously, how can a current affairs woman establish herself as the good guy? I'm pretty sure there has been many a case where you have used your media presence, even though you don't pay a direct role in actually doing the reporting, because you're not a reporter, you're a, you're a woman, they stick on and say, hey, look, tits, tits means views, tits are credible. Anyway, that's digressing even more, that's, that's another story entirely. And it's like, hey, how many lives have you destroyed, Tracy, in the process of actually trying to generate views. I mean, you can't be calling yourself the person who's the good guy when really you're the bad guy. I mean, you sold your soul and you sucked the big black cock of Satan, filling yourself with his juicy, juicy Incas. Uh, quote Van Croft, by the way. Don't expect the sympathy of, of your people your people. Okay, yeah, I guess we can segregate them into their own group because they are the lower members of the society. To defend your littleness itself. But, yeah. Again, I'm, I should really steer back to the initial topic that this is about current affairs, not about how much I really fucking hate Tracy Grimshaw. One of the things I'd like to go back to is uh, Mr. Barker's problem right now, that him being the ideology of all internet trolleys bent on the terrorism of mainstream industry. Now, Mr. Barker has a good way of pissing off people, and a small round of applause for that, very well, and has done some great work for himself ever since he haymakered uh, Miss Minaj. That's another story, by the way, how my fucking shit she is, and how she is slowly lowering the stand of intelligence. Now, Mr. Barker, um, in my opinion, is actually a more credible journalist than these lot of idiots. He's been exponentialized and pretty much destroyed by the media. And, like, I'd like to, for you to go and look it up for yourself and have a look at, like, some of the things that are actually true and what the media he's actually said. Like, I'm pretty sure there was one point that he was, uh, um, like, a Hitler youth, something like that. Anyway. And this is not what the media is about. The media should be about presenting things that are important to our society and generating, like, general concern for things that are actually threatening. But, you know, that'll never happen because threatening things like cancer and AIDS and all the dying children in Africa and the possibility that the meteor could come at any point because our space program is no way as good enough to actually defend ourselves. No, they don't matter because as long as I'm angry at someone next to me, I'm never going to progress in humanity. I mean, without these overzealous media colossi, I think the world would be a better place. It's almost like saying, hey, I've got a great idea. Let's get rid of liars in our society that intend on raping our minds and filling us with the stupid thought that I should be angry at this person because their opinions differ to me. But, you know, it's not a perfect world and we've got to sometimes accept that. I'm Coombs and, uh, that's been the first rent for Conventionals Manager. Uh, like and subscribe and, uh, hopefully I'll see you soon in the comments when we're arguing about my opinions.